It's the headline glamour matchup of the college football bowl season, featuring Texas and Notre Dame, with the Heisman Trophy winner, the Outland Trophy winner, the Walter Camp Trophy winner, the Coach of the Year, and the possible national championship at Dallas, Texas, in a stadium that has been sold out for months, the 1978 Cotton Bowl. Thank you, Lindsay. Yesterday we saw professional football in their championship games, and we saw them do it with the expertise to which we're accustomed because they're the very best in the world at what they do. Today we're going to see the very talented amateurs of football in what might be a truly championship game. You're going to hear the difference between yesterday and today in the color, the excitement, the intensity, and the noise. There's going to be an awful lot of go Irish and hook 'em horns and eyes of Texas are upon you and shake down the thunder from the sky. Both clubs, of course, think they can win. The Irish have been penned up in a motel in Dallas since the 23rd of December. They're mean and ornery and ready to tear everybody apart. Texas supporters love to point out the fact that Pope Paul this Christmas was seen giving his Christmas blessing in the following manner. At any rate, we expect a very exciting and wonderful football game here today, at the end of which we could have a true national collegiate champion. Unless, of course, Notre Dame wins, in which case they'll give the title to Ole Miss. <laughs> <laughs> this is Campbell. Got just about to the 15-yard line, and that was all. Bob Golick was in there to make the tackle. There's the pitch, and it's loose. It was for Campbell, and the scramble is on, and Notre Dame has recovered at the 31-yard line. Ross Browner on the football, Ross Browner. And now it's going to be a 47-yard field goal attempt for Dave Reed with Vestic holding, and this one is up, and it is good. 47-yard field goal for Dave Reeve. Notre Dame has taken a 3-0 lead with 11 minutes, 35 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Return, and he is being sacked. Back at the 25-yard line by Jim Browner, the strong safety. Jim Browner got to him, number 33. He's Earl Campbell, one of 11 children reared by a widowed mother. And there's the pass out of the flat on the screen. It's taken by Ham Jones, and Ham Bumble. Jones fumbled the football, and Notre Dame recovered it oh, at he, the 27-yard line. He got popped. Jim Browner got it. Jim Browner, another big play, was right there and fell on the loose football. This is Heavens to the outside. Evans with speed is at the 10. Dives up to the six yard line. It's first down and goal to go at the six yard line. Double tight end, Fly is in there. Urich's in the ball again. And Terry Urich, touchdown Urich. Urich took it in from the six yard line. He is a co-captain at Notre Dame. And it's the first touchdown of the afternoon. <laughs> McEachern has the ball. He fumbles the ball. And Notre Dame recovers another turnover. And it is Willie Fry on the ball. In motion across. That's Weimer. Jerome Evans. Or rather, Urich. It is Urich. Urich took it in. Urich had come in there at fullback, and he scores his second touchdown of the day. Terry Urich, senior running back and co-captain. The Notre Dame fans are going crazy, and a lot of them here watch the blocking on the left side. The same exact play, Lindsay. This time, Urich goes outside. He scores his second touchdown of the day. He scored on the same play from four, four or five yards out for his first touchdown. Kitchen, and he is sacked. Kitchen dropped back there near the 15. Ross Browner and Willie Fry, the bookends met. Kitchen drops back. Intercepted. Ooh, at him. Becker has it at the 30. Doug Becker is out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Boy, Lindsay, the game plan for Notre Dame is working beautifully. They were hoping to get Texas in a throwing situation and just hope that McEachern would try to throw it up for grabs. And Dumping you know, back well. now. Montana's throwing. And it's in the end zone. Touchdown. Vegas Ferguson. Vegas Ferguson. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Well, everything's going right for the Irish. Dropping back again. This McEachern. It is intercepted by Heimkrater. Heimkrater, the linebacker. It is first and 10 Notre Dame inside the 30-yard line of Texas. 
Montana's got the ball. And he throws to Urich inside the 10. Urich out of bounds at the five yard line. Orsini is in there now. Sai is in at a double tight end. Orsini's in at a running back. Instead, it is Vegas Ferguson hitting in for the touchdown. Vegas Ferguson hit it into the end zone for a touchdown. And there must be a little weakness over there because that's the third time this afternoon that Notre Dame has gone off the left side for three touchdowns. This time, it's Vegas Ferguson. In the first half, Terry Urich got two at the same spot. Well, they caught him in the game. Texas is in the blitz that time and uh, just ran to the weak spot. Future. Right off to Campbell. Three yards out to the 33, where it'll be second down and seven yards to go. First and in at the 21. Motion across from Weimer. Off the tailback spot. Vegas Ferguson running. He's got the first down. He's out to the 33 yard line. And the teacher is the quarterback. Gives it to Campbell. Earl Campbell. Got to the 34 yard line, where it'll be second and eight. Ross Browner in to make the tackle along with Bob Golick. Earl Campbell. Now just to the 35 before he's popped back. It'll be third and seven. Bob Golick made the tackle. You know, it's amazing. Here's a guy, of course, he's going to be one of the great pros. He's still on the ground there. He got popped real hard. Jackson in the slot left. Keechan. Going to Jackson. Back in the end zone, Randy Harrison has it for a touchback. First and 10, Notre Dame at their 20-yard line. Harrison with the interception, took it into the end zone at the 20. Lindsay, there is a very marked contrast in the attitude of this Texas team now here in the fourth quarter as the seconds tick away and the possible national championship with it. This was a very enthusiastic team, even trailing 24 to 10 at the outset of the third quarter. It's not anymore. The Texas players mumbling about the seven turnovers. This has never happened to them before this season. And right now, it's a, a very, really a depressed aura around this team as Notre Dame continues to dominate with the fourth quarter wearing on. Third and two at the 26-yard line. Double tight end, Mark Saya is in there. Vegas Ferguson looking to get the six. He's got it. First down, Goodbye. he's gone. They'll never catch him. He's gone. Touchdown, Vegas Ferguson. He has great speed. He can accelerate, and he did. What a cutback. Vegas Ferguson. dash for a touchdown. He caught a nine-yard pass in the first half for a touchdown from Montana. Watch this cutback. There's Ernie Hughes. In fact, he got in front of the guard, and he makes a great cut. Vegas Ferguson, only a sophomore from Richmond, Indiana, puts Notre Dame on top, 37 to 10. Notre Dame to stop the... Or rather, the game is over. The game is over. The game is over. We'll return to the Cotton Bowl after this word from your local station.